you love a good Austin food truck and you're looking for one that puts a unique twist on a classic American favorite, well, you're in the right place. Stay tuned for this week's Local Business Spotlight. What's happening, everybody? Ian Grossman here, your realtor in Austin, Texas. The taste buds are screaming today for this week's Local Business Spotlight. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're looking to move to Austin or buy a home or sell a home here in the Austin area, this is your one-stop shop for all things ATX. You don't wanna miss anything, so hit that subscribe button. Now let's get into it. Today is National Chicken Wing Day. And coincidentally, it's also Wingy Wednesday. Now, when you're watching this, probably won't be, but that's the present world I'm living in. So I didn't, could not think of a better time to take you to one of my favorite food trucks here in Austin. Today, we are hitting up Tommy Want Wingy. Yes, you heard that correctly, Tommy Want Wingy. If you're a Tommy Boy fan from back in the day, you get the reference. But this place takes one of my favorite foods, chicken wings, and puts a very unique twist on it. So Tommy Want Wingy, um, I found out about it back a few years ago when I lived here, or when I moved to Austin. Uh, it used to be off South First Street on Live Oak. Now they moved to Rainy Street, so they've got a food truck at Rainy Street, and then they moved, uh, they opened a second one over at Cosmic Coffee. There's a food truck park here, there's three food trucks, and Tommy Want Wingy is one of them. So you got a couple options if you want to go check them out. Now what makes Tommy Want Wingy different? Well, they French cut their wings, or they're more commonly known as chicken lollipops. They take the chicken, they remove one of the bones from the flats, they cut one of the tendons from the drumsticks, they push it all up to the top, and before your eyes, a beautiful piece of culinary perfection is sitting waiting to be devoured by you, or by me, today. Um, so I'm gonna take you over to the food truck. I already placed my order. It is 95 degrees outside. There's only outdoor seating over the Cosmic Coffee uh, food truck park right now. Um, so I'm in my car in the AC waiting to get that text that says, it's wingy time. When you get it, you know your mouth starts watering and it is time to go get your wingy on. Meanwhile. Well folks, just got the text. It's wingy time. Masking up, going to pick up my order. Oh boy, you guys are in for a treat. Well, I'm in for a treat right now. When you come here, you will be in. Now I'm gonna give you a rundown of what my go-to order here is. Usually I go with 15 wings, which I know it's a lot, but I gotta be able to get all, all different kinds. So here's what we're looking at. First up is the OG. Now the OG is kind of a sweet and spicy. It's got a sriracha sauce in it. Um, check those out. So we go with five OG, you can see the lollipop there. Next up are two uh, dry rubs. So a lot of times when I go to a wing restaurant, I'll get buffalo, uh, but I chose to make my spicy option the OG. Also go with the spicy ranch and the lemon pepper. So five OG, five spicy ranch, five lemon pepper gives me all that my mouth needs um, and is delicious. Now it's time to dig in. We're starting with the OG. Now the best part of these wings, the lollipops, if you really wanted to, you could put the whole thing in your mouth, just rip the bone out, and there you go, start chewing, swallow one bite, done. Um, don't recommend that because then you don't get to savor the delicious flavor. So I'm just gonna go at it like I go for a normal wing. Well, most of it just came off. I'll take it, delicious. A couple shameless plugs here. 
if you have not listened, I have a, I have a podcast, What's Brewing ATX, and last year, the owners, Sean and Neil, they're two brothers, the owners of Tommy Wallingy, they came on the podcast. So go check out our podcast, check out that specific episode. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description. And in it, me, Jonathan, Greg, three co-hosts, we tried one of the Holy Schnikes wings. So when you go to the food truck, you'll see the menu and it goes from hottest to mildest. And at the very top of the height, the hot list, there's one called a Holy Schnikes. This is off the charts when it comes to spice level. I can't even remember off the top of my head what the Scoville rating of it was, um, but it's it was like oh, a thousand times hotter than a jalapeno pepper. So try it at your own risk. Um, maybe order one. If you get five, you should probably bring uh, a gallon of water and possibly a porta potty and a diaper along with you. Sorry for the graphic scene, but that's what you're getting into with the holy schnikes. All right, going into the lemon pepper. This one's delicious, not spicy, has a great taste. So one of the things I love about these wings is they use both the flats and the drumsticks. I mentioned in the intro, it's not all drumsticks. Um, for the flats, they take one of the wing, one of the bones out before they cook it. It's a very uh, tedious, lengthy process, which is why they charge probably more than your average wing, but there's a lot of love and care that goes into these wings as Neil and Sean mentioned on our podcast. Um, so come to the price tag. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Now it's time for the spicy ranch. This one does have a kick, so make sure you have some water, have something to drink to go along with this one. Um, while I'm eating this one, I wanna share with you guys. I did make a video of the top, my top wing restaurants in Austin. You'll have to see where Tommy Wong Wingy landed on that list. Put the link below to that video. But if you love uh, eating, being outside, Again, the other food trucks are here that are here, the Leroy and Lewis uh, barbecue food truck and Pueblo Viejo. They have delicious nachos. Gotta come here to check it out. Also, Cosmic Coffee. This is all part of the coffee shop you see behind me. Uh, it goes way back there, tons of seating, tons of outdoor space. They've not only got coffee, but they have a full bar. Um, so just a great place to come when it's, you know, not COVID times, which it is now. Um, they'll have some live music and, and a lot, always things going on here. Really fun place. And we're at the location again, located right off South Congress. Oh boy, Spicy Ranch is already getting me. All right, leave me alone for a little bit while I enjoy my food. want to take a pause and point something out to you guys. So consider myself a bit of a wing expert, and that includes how to eat the wings. Well, check this out. What do you notice? Yeah, this hand's pretty dirty. This one, clean as a whistle. Why? Well, especially with these wings, you only need one hand to eat them. So there's no mess that you got to make. Uh, so then you got a free hand, use your phone, text your wife, whatever you need to do grab to drink your water, not get buffalo sauce or sriracha sauce all over it. So Tommy Wong Lee makes it easy to eat a wing the right way. So one of my favorite parts about these wings, I think the qualities of a good wing break down the structure a little bit. Well, you need a crispy skin, nice and crisp, but by getting it too crispy, it might dry out the inside. These are nice and tender, juicy when you bite into them. Absolutely delicious. And the secret with Tommy Wong Wingy Wings, see the top of it, or I guess that's the bottom, leaves this very crispy little uh, surprise at the end, a little crispy treat. So when you're done with your wing, don't forget to chew the little crispy at the end. Maybe dip it in your ranch if you wanna go crazy. It's my favorite part. All right, I've done some big time damage over here. Check out what I've got before me. 
Out of 15 wings, three remain, one of each flavor. I usually treat them all equally so that I end up with uh, each option when it comes down to the end of it. Now it's just a matter of how I want to end this incredible experience. I'm probably gonna go with lemon pepper first, and then go with the spicy ranch and end it with a sweet little twist, the sriracha sauce, end it on the OG, and then I'll take you out. Catch you in a couple. Well, folks, it is done. Wingy Wednesday, that is a wrap. I just ate 15 wings. I've got a lot of work to do, but it also feels like a little like nap time, but I'm gonna power through a couple shout outs, local businesses, since this is a local business spotlight. We got Treaty Oak Distillery, go check them out. We've got Life Spring Chiropractic. Shout out to Dr. Matt and Dr. Scott over there. If you're having some neck problems, back problems, go give them a visit. Um, and as I was leaving, there was a table of four guys. One of them was on his third Holy Shnikes wing. He lost a bet. He was sitting there with a carton of milk. It was pretty, pretty hilarious. Look at him. He was just like drenched, dripping. It's, I mean, it's 95 degrees out there. Um, so anyway, if you come to Tommy Wong Wing, if you want to get crazy, try one of those. Otherwise, go with one of the flavor recommendations that I gave you, or they've got several others for you to check out. Remember, this is your one-stop shop for all things ATX. If you're moving here, if you're buying a home, selling a home in Austin, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything that's to come. And we will catch you on the next Local Business Spotlight.